Angel YouTube. Angel will be on here later tonight. Uh, I had a rough night sleeping last night. In fact, I didn't hardly, I didn't go to bed at all until like maybe like an after an hour when an incident took place right out here. And I'm gonna show you real quick. Uh, somebody decided to shoot fireworks off down here early this morning. And it woke up uh, Angie, it woke the neighbors downstairs below, and if anybody on the first floor, woke them up too, and anybody who's over there. Well, we're thinking the source is coming from over there, because they run quick. They light and they run, and all I have to do is just, uh, I should have reported it to the manager, but I think I'm going to do one step better. Uh, I'm going to provide them video of the person. Uh, if I have to rig up a camera system just to see who's doing it and how they're doing it, I don't know. Uh, it, but these these two, three, four in the morning fireworks has to stop uh, because it's disruptive, it's inconsiderate. And why do you want to do it in front of a bunch of YouTubers? You want to be YouTube famous? Fine. Do your own YouTube videos on how to shoot off fireworks and see where that goes and that. So, yeah, it's going to be a rough day today. So, yeah, I got up uh, this morning. Which I just I was going to sleep in for a while, and I just got up. I just couldn't sleep anymore. So I'll probably want to take a longer nap than normal. And, uh, and go in today, but I think tonight, I got a funny feeling, something's going to happen tonight, um, and I want to catch it on video. Oh, by the way, the SD camera, if I do rig up a, the camera system, I do have the SD card, I can, on certain cameras like this one, I can record up to uh, 16 hours if I keep the settings on low, but then uh, if I put it on a GoPro, I don't get the, uh, the image of the person. And it doesn't really have the best night vision. This one does, but this one makes a noise, and I can't put a power source to this one to keep it going because of being that it will shut itself off if I put a power source to it. So I gotta find a camera that can work with a power source, and I'm not gonna try to. I'm not gonna try the brand new camera uh, when I had not broken into it yet. Uh, basically, it has not been used yet. And it's not weatherproof. And I just, maybe the GoPro is weatherproof, but we'll have to wait and see. I'm hoping if they hear me talking about this, maybe it will stop. But I don't know. Somebody could be that stupid. We'll try to do it in front of a camera and see where it goes. Uh, but somebody's going to make a mistake, uh, basically. And if we do, we'll catch them, uh, basically. Yeah, Chuck, your famous entrapments. You're worse than somebody else. See, remember I had a video uh, about a year or two ago where I had a GoPro on the patio and I was trying to get the uh, sparrows to come up to the camera. Uh, unfortunately, the sparrows were kind of new what the camera looked like, so they didn't come up to it. But uh, where we did uh, birdies on the patio video, something like that, uh, I had a GoPro and on the patio. And I did have a GoPro one time aiming out that way, looking for something. But I think I was just trying to get birds to come up to it more that way. But uh, uh, I have talked about putting some kind of security cameras in at one time. Uh, just for, I guess I'd call shit and giggles. Sorry about that. But uh, that's what it is. I know I'm going to get a lot of thumbs down on this video. I'm going to ask you guys who put the thumbs down on the video, probably don't even watch the video anyway. Uh, if they do, put yourself in the same shoes. Would you like to uh, live in an apartment complex where someone comes out at 1, 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning shooting off fireworks and wake you up? Uh, I'm pretty sure because you guys would be dumb enough, you probably would say yes. But I would say definite answer would be no. So, uh, yeah. So... Give this video a thumbs up, uh, basically. It's just, this is what you have to do. Be vigilant on that. Oh, by the way, uh, I don't blame the neighbor downstairs. I would love to see it happen, too. 
because the guy, when I came out on the patio this morning to find out who's shooting off the fireworks, one of the neighbors came down with a baseball bat. And boy, I was hoping he would hit a grand slam. <laughs> he was ready. For, he was ready. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, he was ready for action. I don't blame him either uh, because it woke him up too. So, uh, see, when I sit on the patio uh, out here at 2, 3, or 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm just kind of just being quiet to myself, just uh, just relaxing, kind of watching what goes on. But if I'm not on the patio, that's when this crap takes place. Uh, but actually, I was on the computer, so I actually I limped out here really quick. As long as I didn't trip and fall over, <laughs> but yeah, and she got uncomfortable. It woke her up uh, too. So right now we'll talk to you guys later tonight um, after we do our thing today. I gotta do some editing videos because I gotta get a lot of videos edited uh, because I'm not taking the laptop up uh, with me to Sabula to do editing videos. We're just going up to Sabula uh, for the next uh, couple of days. Uh, just to, or after tomorrow, uh, just to try out the new camera uh, and mount and all that stuff, and we'll see how it goes. But uh, I'm gonna say if it happens again, I'll guarantee you I want to rig up a camera out here someplace somehow uh, so we can catch it uh, one way or another. It's gonna get rigged up. I'm gonna catch it. Uh, if I don't rig it up this way, I'm hoping I'll be out here because I have seen. Some people, to tell you the truth, I have seen people, a couple, a young couple come out from the apartments over there, walk down in front over here, down over there, and when they get past those trees down there, then that's when they shoot off fireworks. Uh, that happened uh, quite a couple months ago. I don't know if it's the same people, I don't know. But eventually, uh, when the time comes, we're gonna catch them on video. Actually, I was requested by a couple of our neighbors uh, to say, hey, Chuck, you, you have a YouTube channel, right? He goes, yeah. Uh, can you be able to catch them on your video? And I said, I can try, uh, because that's probably the best way to let the management know who's actually, we can show them in the video, who actually is doing it. Actually, we was asked uh, about the dog situation here up here, uh, basically. And what was is they were looking for photos and any videos of people not picking up after the dogs. So because they were cracking down hard on that one too. And I think they'll be going back cracking down on that one uh, towards the next spring because we're starting to get more tenants in here the last uh, couple weeks or so. So it's going to be some tenants are moving out, some tenants are moving in. So the ever rotation of tenants is going to happen but you know. But when you got somebody that shoots off fireworks, I don't mind them sitting out here in the patio and listen to soft music. It's not not, not too loud, uh, or just sitting out here just relaxing like I do once in a while. Because you know, once these winter days comes in and come, it it probably be too cold to sit out here. So I gotta take advantage of all warm weather I get sitting out here and that. So I kind of like sitting out here during the nights. Uh, Listen to the crickets and listen to first responders responding throughout town. And maybe see a fallen star or two. Okay, we'll talk to you guys later tonight. I gotta go and edit some videos. And uh, we'll see you tonight out here with Angie. Just hopefully, we don't, uh, just hopefully, sometime down the line, we're gonna catch them in the action. And we'll let the management know about it that way through a video, through videos and photos. Okay, we decided to call it an audible because we realized it, we're going to be in for a busy night. So uh, we decided we're just going to wrap up the oh, video out here hello, to, YouTube. already. So uh, sorry, guys. The sun is fine. Yeah, the sun is. You know, you ain't really. We got. We got to we gotta wear, start wearing our baseball caps again because we're in that time of year where the sun is going to be that way. You guys, and I that, have a haircut and all that coming up. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, Angie is not fully awake. You can tell that she's really tired uh, because the fireworks did woke her up last night. It woke up quite a few people last night. Uh, yeah, so, yep, it's been one of those things that does happen. Uh, but we're going to try to figure out how to end it, like I told you in this video. Uh, 
it's, just can, ridic it's ridiculous. Yeah, I think probably manager got known, but I think we're gonna, like I said in this video, we're probably gonna try to get some proof. Now, if they're hearing me talking about it, they probably won't do it. Uh, sleeping. Or they're sleeping, yeah. Or, yeah, or probably sleeping uh, throughout the day. Yeah. Then, But we'll find out. Uh, we'll find out. We'll let you guys know. Oh, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow will be the American Queen uh, video. Um, as long as I get up early in the morning. See, that's another reason why I want to end the video right now. Yeah, guys, and he's got to get up early. It's going to be in town early. Yeah, so uh, that's why I want to go to bed early tonight. When I wrap up this video, when I get home, uh, do my thing tonight. Uh, get home, go to bed early, get up about just before sunrise and make my way down to the riverfront. I want to be there before the boat arrives. Yep, I already know what time. Yeah, 7 a.m. Yep. approximately? Yep, Okay. Till 1 p.m. Yeah, it's going to be a short visit here. So uh, it's probably going to be just couple places in town and that's going to be it yep and that so but we're going to watch it pull in but we're not going to watch it leave because i gotta be home i gotta do i gotta do another errand off after that video is made so we'll just watch it pull in uh talk about it uh then uh hopefully uh uh we'll just wrap up the video so i won't prolong it guys and we have a busy weekend and we do have past videos on american queen in the past so uh and what happens if the boat is already there? Well, we'll talk about it anyway. All right. Well, so what happens if we get don't get down there and miss the boat? Well, probably we'll talk about something else. Maybe we'll talk about if more fireworks gets shot off up here in the in the wee hours in the morning. Better stop. Yeah, we don't we don't need it no more. Uh, basically, and. Uh, I heard it's a hundred and eighty-five dollar fine if you get caught shooting off fireworks within the city limits of Clinton. Uh, that's if you get caught. Uh, it's a that's a hundred eighty dollar that's a hundred eighty-five dollar fine. But if we catch a video and photos and turn it to to the property manager, uh, that uh, not just that fine could be imposed, but uh, you could lose more. Uh, than just a hundred and eighty five dollars. There's a chance you could probably could lose a roof over your head too at the same time Because they have zero tolerance when it comes to fireworks on the property uh, basically it's zero tolerance and Every property owner you are always strict on this because they got to protect the property from uh, bogus stuff like that Especially if they want to shoot off the patio, off the pat, off the wood patio, that is probably the most dumbest thing I ever heard. That's the way to start a fire, uh, basically. But like I said, we have renters insurance. Yeah. But uh, but I don't know if it's going to cover fireworks damage or something like that. I have to talk to my agent about that. But one thing we'll we'll uh, talk about is if it happens again, we'll I told Andrew we're going to mount a camera situation. If we have to, but uh, we'll set up a camera situation if we have to, and that. So because yep. everybody's not happy. Yeah, I know I can't do it because I can barely walk at times. So uh, my neighbors knows I'm walking with a bad limp, and that. So basically, that would be it anyway. So yeah, we're keeping more vigilance. I. See, this is why I don't usually go to bed till about two or three in the morning because I'm usually a night owl. Uh, for some reason, but when we get to vacation, I gotta switch my sleeping patterns because uh, I gotta get up early. Yeah, you do. We gotta get up early and get growing when we take that vacation in November. Okay, one thing we need to take to do, right? I Angie? said I'll let you in the video since the sun's in my face. Okay, all right. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe on the notification bell. Remember, if you you don't have to live in a comp apartment complex to have neighbors shooting off fireworks at two or three o'clock in the morning, unless you're in the middle of the woods someplace or out in the middle of nowhere. But uh, yeah, two, three, four o'clock in the morning—that's kind of ridiculous, especially in an apartment complex. That's even more dumber yet, uh, because someone could get hurt, or someone, or something's going to catch on fire. And that, when I showed you where the apartment where the fireworks shot off, that's a little too close to the building. Uh, something could go wrong. And that so luckily most of us was up and probably took care of the situation if it rises all right we're out of here please like share subscribe don't forget to subscribe button notification bell we'll see you guys i'll see you guys on the riverfront tomorrow he will i will
Angie will have a day off from the video again yep. for some reason. All right, we'll see you. Bye.